social media platform that is at Y254 channel across every social media platform and on our Instagram page that is Y254 underscore channel at Michelle Ashira and I'm joined by the lovely guest who does hip hop music but in another angle in terms of his representing Christ so it's a gospel hip hop kind of sound my name is thank you for joining us and I'll let the, jo the guest to introduce himself I was about to introduce myself again okay guest yeah yeah Thank you for your coming through to Y254. Thanks a lot. We are glad to have you. It's a pleasure. So you can use that camera, camera four, and introduce yourself. Yes. Um, my name is Alvin Dupe. Mm -hmm. um, I represent 125 Rongai. Mm -hmm. um, I Siaya Alego. Siaya Alego. Yeah, yeah. Alvin Dupe. Alvin Dupe. I love your fast jump. It's uh, I checked out, I checked you out, or I checked you out on YouTube, okay. and I tried to find other singles. Yes, I found other singles, but this was your official video. Yes. I love the sound of the music, Thanks but I also lot. found out that you use vernacular uh, language aspect of it. Yes, I do. Tell us more about uh, this song and what was your angle in terms of the story you're trying to tell. Um, this song it's known as Niwena. Mm -hmm. Niwena is a Lua word that means you forgive me. Okay. Um, this song, it's a praise song. Mm -hmm. It's like um, I'm, I'm telling God, man, thanks for saving my life. Mm -hmm. And also my aim was, you see, everybody has a different story yes. at the end of the day. My story might not be exactly as yours, mm -hmm. but uh, when you're listening to my story, it might impact you in one way or another. That is true. So Niwena is just a praise song, just to thank God for all that he has brought me with. Because uh, in if you, if you listen to all those girls who got saved, they have their stories. Mm -hmm. They were once in darkness, but after some time, they got the life. Yeah. Okay. I love the fact that you're doing hip hop music, but you're also uh, you're very quite wide in terms of representing Christ because we have we do have hip hop artists in uh, gospel industry, and you're you're representing and also using the vernacular aspect of it. But most of the hip hop we hear from uh, Kenyans in terms of the gospel scene is based on Swahili or English. What was your niche? What are you trying to achieve using vernacular language? Um, I'm privileged that I can speak Luo fluently, so I was like, there's some Luo people who don't understand Swahili. But I was like, why, n why also not come up uh, with my Lua rap so that mm -hmm. I can also impact them? Because I came to realize that mm -hmm. um, music is music, despite the language of communication. Mm -hmm. uh, and we, uh, we have some artists who do vernacular, but we still appreciate their music. That is true. Yeah. So I have some, I know of some rappers mm -hmm. and some artists who do their songs in vernacular. And we still impress it and we love it. All right. Yeah. So how different is it this jam compared to what you've uh, been doing initially? Um, this jam is different mm -hmm. uh, because uh, it's a trap mm -hmm. hip hop trap in vernacular, sound, yes. which I which is something very very rare, mm -hmm. mostly in our in a wi within within our wi within our country. Mm -hmm. So it's an it's a new sound in the market. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, how long have you been into the industry? Um, okay, I've been doing this for a, d for a decade now. Ten years? Yeah, man. Wow. Yeah, so finally I'm here, man. Glory be to God. <laughs> ten years, that is a lot. That's a long time. So, uh, how has the journey been from ten years to where you are? What is so different right now? And what are the challenges back then that you have actually conquered right now? Um, the challenge has been a lot. Yes. Um, also, when you're upcoming, when you're still coming up, you mm -hmm. still don't have that name. Mm -hmm. um, okay, I've, 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 I've gone to studios, mm -hmm. I've been recording. Nice job. But you see, s most of the time I didn't have the, the right links, okay. the right people that you're supposed to meet. Mm -hmm. But I thank God at the moment um, I came to realize the basic, mm -hmm. the right things that you're supposed to do, like meeting the right people. Mm -hmm. And I came to realize that it's all about Kujituma. Mm -hmm. When you don't tell somebody that you're an artist, nobody will know. Okay. Yeah. Uh, for most of the artists who have come here at Hashtag Hip Hop Thursday, they tend to tell a story whereby there, have been a, there has been a struggle of finances, but they also understand the importance of networking and using what is within their own space. And not like uh, being in a space whereby, because I don't have right now, so I'm just going to stick around and wait until I have so that I can do my project. But it's the same story with you. It has been 10 years down the memory lane, and I'm hearing a story whereby you didn't give up. Yeah, you're yeah. still doing what you're doing right now. And uh, fortunately, you're at hashtag Hip Hop Thursday on one yeah. in the morning. So my, what, would you, what will you be? 
be what will your thoughts be in terms of young people who want to venture into the music scene and the same story i'm hearing networking how did you how did you maneuver around that um in regards to networking yes um i remember okay i i personally i i am I'm also a businessman okay so what i decided to do is that not to keep quiet with what i have mm -hmm. so i used to tell everybody that hey yo I am an artist. I'm, I am a rapper. Mm -hmm. So I used to, wh when I, I used to go to places where there are some jam, okay. I meet DJs there, I meet my fellow so artists. So you used to attend events? Yes, I used to attend events. Okay. Yes. At least to get that link. Mm -hmm. You know, even if they don't play my song or g take my song, but at least to get that number and later on send my stuff. So, so first thing, ulisema kujituma. Kujituma. Kwevo, like every single time, even if I'm having a project, in regardless of if I have another one coming, just that one, you should just attend these events that are happening in Kwamta and just issuing you out your projects. Even if I were to come back to you, as long as you have done your part, and uh, let God be in the case of doing gospel hip hop in exactly. music. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, so has be how has the journey been as a gospel uh, musician in terms of hip hop music? Hey, the journey has not been easy. It has not been easy because um, it's a field whereby you see there are not so many majority of artists who are hip hop artists okay. who are out there, you uh -huh. see, but mostly are secular hip hop artists. Oh, wait. What do you mean secular uh, hip hop? Oh, like uh, I thought you were talking about secular hip hop artists, but they are just uh, using the cutting because in terms of the name of doing gospel music. Yeah, oh. in terms of the hip hop, you oh, see there is music. Okay. hip hop music. So you find that in uh, on the other side of of gospel, not so many artists have also that delivered that they are those big guys in hip hop apart from some few. Mm -hmm. So it's a field that, it's so very challenging, mm -hmm. but you say, I, I know where I'm, I know my vision and I know where I'm heading to. You know your vision, okay. Yeah, so previously before I got saved, I used to do secular music. Oh, all right. Yeah, so after I got saved, I changed and I started doing. So you started as a secular artist? As a secular artist. artist. Okay. Then later on, I. You moved to lanes. the other side? Yes. You crossed over. Yeah, man. Okay, yeah. so uh, in the other side of uh, crossing over, th there are those artists who are in this uh, gospel scene, but they claim to be, apparently they claim to be gospel musician, but the kind of music they are producing, it's all-rounded kind of music, which can be played anywhere, everywhere. It's music we appreciate it, but, uh, but behind the curtains and behind the scene, we see their lifestyle and everything else. I believe the Word of God says something like, you'll know them by the way they, by their fruits and everything else. But what we tend to see, uh, according to their actions and their lifestyle, the controversy out there, what is your thought on that? Um, my thought is, okay, it's very, very sad. Uh, you see, God is mighty. Mm -hmm. You see, and uh, it, uh, it's it's okay. It's very very unfair also mm -hmm. to use the name of God just for your your own purpose. Mm -hmm. you, you know, uh, even though it's uh, it's uh, if, even though it's very very sad, but you see, we still have the ambassadors of Christ, those who are doing this thing genuinely. No, that's you true. understand. And what is happening outside there? Um, it should not stop you. Who is who has the calling? Who is doing a genuine? Who is doing a genuine thing? Movement. Okay. Yeah. So. At the end of the day, just as you have said, you'll know them by their, by their fruits. If they're really doing something genuine or they're faking it. So my advice is, man, for those who are doing that, it's high time, man, mm -hmm. to just do this thing. Okay. For real. So your new jam, your new jam, which has a video on, you can yeah. tell us more about it and the theme behind it. And uh, who produced your video? My video was produced by Big Dreams. Mm -hmm. uh, same to audio. Mm -hmm. And uh, I shot the video also. At Rongai. You okay, you shot okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, the location was at Rongai. Mm -hmm. um, um, the the pr the the audio production was done by Rico Beats. Rico Beats, alright. Yeah. So it's a trap. It's a trap hip hop sound. So you can tell us the the theme around it, and you can probably give us a verse, a snip verse uh, before the DJ DJ Regis plays it right here, mm -hmm. and then we can take it away from there. Yes. Alright. Mm -hmm. So. I'm check it. O simba wani nyalo. Apa kwenye giki na tingo nyingi malo. Ina kenda ina kenda yema lamo. Chonto na fu na hero mana walo. Ilo kungi mana koro sani donga yalo. Sija makapa roko na mister gold. Nyaka kumacho pia wear gicho de gimadu nyaso de gikuela gumiambu. Mako sekado. Gima na sani yengi mama nyen. Owara gie yesu noto keno chair. Awacha wadia. Owara jogi. Joma ne gie. Omi yogi hawe gima ndo mnyen. Gingi mama musi iko. Manya kachiang. Korinto mokuongo. Wacho ni ya. Wawe timo richo wajudi gima. 
we should just drop a mic right now. Boom. Yes, that was amazing. You can give us your social media handles, but people back at home can follow you and ask you any question. And uh, DJ Regis will be scratching it too, the new sound of Alvin. Um, my social media handles are at Alvin Dupe. Okay. Um, on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram. And you can also get my songs on SoundCloud, Spotify, iTunes. Um, yeah. If you have any other sound or any music, even if, even if you have an album coming your away, your way, please come back to hashtag Hip Hop Thursday on Why in the Morning and drop it. Yes. I'm humbled. Thanks Thank a you lot. for coming. Uh, a lot. DJ Regis will be taking away, and but don't go away. Uh, Barry Moore is coming up with another interview.